So merely this type of tumor starts from what? Plasmocytes, which are actually specialized B cells, which are usually produced by bone marrow, majorly found primarily as location in the skull, where these productions of lots of immature plasmocytes give the idea due to the atrophy of the surrounding bone structures give the idea and the impression of a skull which is looking as if eaten by moths it's many lightnings there are many light structures lighter which appear at the periphery of the skull take a look at this tumor now it's material which is more looking like curettage. It's not a solid structure. There are clusters of tissues. Here are bone trabeculae, which gives us the impression that it's taken next to bones. It's mo looking more like compact bone. Then lots of erythrocytes and clusters of inflammatory cells. And if we enlarge these cells, we can see exactly how they appear. They are looking majorly monomorphous with eccentrically positioned nucleus. And it should be at the periphery of the cell. Also, what we also search here is the Russell bodies, which is actually sort of eosinophilic packages of immunoglobulin. Now let's search for it here. So yeah, sort of such appearing here and here and here also. These are erythrocytes here. Yeah, where the cytoplasm appears more, did it disappear again? Oh no, sorry, I will not. I'm sorry, do you see it vague when I move so fast with the mouse? I'll move slower. Aha, uh -huh. so it freezes at the same spot. Okay, sorry. So, appears that most of this location is made of this tumor. And most of the materials here are actually giving impression to be invaded by this tumor. When this type of tumor uh, is focused on multiple places, not only in bones, but with extramedullary position like giving metastasis for example in organs it's called multiple myeloma or myeloma disease and the characteristic of these cells is pretty much the same everywhere unfortunately although it's quite informative by the look of the cells especially here I will wait for it to focus and I will explain it here. Take a look of the cells. These are having... Did it disappear? Sorry. We have such problems with the other groups also. Sorry very much. Uh, what it appears to be here is a very representative picture. Take a look at the cell, take a look at the nucleus, take a look at the nucleoli. The nucleus is very eccentrically positioned at the end of the cell. Again, it's monomorphous population, a little bit looking bluish cells, uh, a little bit different from each other, strictly atypical. So it's falling in the group of small round blue cell tumors because they are looking more bluish. But since this eccentric position is very evident here, and if, of course, we cannot give this diagnosis without performing hypnotistic chemistry. If we perform it and it's positive, then it's definitely considered to be 
plasma cytoma. The immune chemistry here, which we perform, is CD138. The plasma cytoma. 138. And that is something that is going to make you sure that this would be your diagnosis. So, pretty much clusters of cells, not much of fibrous strands in between these, remnants of bone, trabeculae at the periphery of the tumor. That's it, what you should mention. So, next one.